I'm Dr. Denise DeBus from Rescue My Plant, where I guide you to rescue your own plant. And I'm going to share with you some tips on pruning stone fruits like peaches, plums, and nectarines, and palm fruit like apples and pears. Fruit trees are extremely popular in edible gardening. Most people don't realize the amount of care they need. They often need to be fertilized and watered regularly, managed for pests and diseases, and pruned yearly. If you plant a peach tree and don't prune it, you'll end up with tall, out-of-reach branches that go straight up, which can be difficult to correct. The majority of deciduous fruit trees are best pruned between December and February while they are dormant. This is also the best time to plant fruit trees because it gives them time to establish root systems early in the year in order to withstand the summer heat. Training or pruning your fruit tree should begin at planting. Stone fruit with a trunk less than 3 eighths of an inch in diameter with no lateral branches are often cut back to 18 to 24 inches above the ground in order to start training them into a vase shape. Trees respond to pruning by not only dwarfing the tree, making fruit picking easier, but also invigorating it by stimulating branching. The benefits of pruning and training include promoting a strong framework, aiding in the development and maintenance of a desirable tree size and shape, and increasing fruit size and quality. It also reduces the incidence of disease and allows for easier pest management. The most common pruning cuts are heading back cuts, removal or thinning out cuts, and reduction cuts. The heading back cuts removes part of the branch which allows more branching to occur. Removal cuts is when the entire shoot or limb is removed to the larger parent branch. With reduction cuts, you are removing a larger branch back to a smaller diameter side branch. Peaches, nectarines, and plums have a specific training program. The goal for peaches and nectarines especially is to create an open face look to the tree so that the fruit is easier to pick and allows light to get into the center. In open center, three to four limbs that are evenly spaced are selected. These trees are also thinned out during the summer. Since plums tend to grow more upright and branch more densely, they can be trained with an open center or a modified leader system. Branches that grow laterally are selected and the interior branches are removed. Apple trees do best with a modified center leader system with five to seven well-spaced scaffold limbs going in different directions. Often the angles of the limbs need to be spread so that they can support more fruit. This can be done with propping clothespins between the trunk and young shoots. The clothespins are removed in midsummer once the tissue hardens. If you haven't pruned your tree in a while, your tree may look bushy, leading to slow growth and poor quality fruit. You need to prune it to get more light into the interior of the tree. Remove vigorous upright shoots from the interior of the tree and remove any suckers from the base. Select some branches with wide angles and thin out the remaining limbs. Shorten the scaffold limbs by about a fourth by using heading and removal cuts. With any tree, remove any diseased or damaged wood. If the tree has a history of pests or diseases, you may need to spray it with a dormant oil or fungicide to protect it. To treat for scales and mites, apply dormant horticultural oil twice 10 to 14 days apart when the temperature is between 40 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit and before bud break. For bacterial spot, apply a sulfur-based product and chlorothalonil for leaf curl before blooms or leaves appear. It is very important that you follow the label. If you have a fruit tree, take advantage of cooler temperatures and go out and prune them. I hope you enjoyed this presentation on pruning and other maintenance on palm and stone fruit trees. Many gardeners struggle with knowing how to fix their plants and make their garden look good. At Rescue My Plant, I have a process that helps them identify and manage problems so that their edible garden provides nutritious and organic food to feed their family. I'm a trained plant doctor and educator with over 15 years of experience. Stay tuned for courses, blog posts, and a community to help solve your gardening needs. You can visit my website at rescuemyplant.com 
email me, or like my Facebook page.